In this video, we'll learn about the ways to absolute forgiveness. When something bad happens that makes you mad, annoyed, and frustrated, don't let the emotions control you. Be the master of your emotions and don't react to the negative emotions. Instead, take a step back and calmly look at the situation as a whole. Then, forgive others and look for solutions in a positive state. You'd be surprised with the incredible outcome. Thus, before you're able to do this, you need to learn how to let go. This is something that was being taught in yoga and meditation. The benefit of these is that you are taught to breathe in such a way that you're able to bring down your blood pressure and the rate of your heartbeat. As a result, you're able to look at this negative situation with an open mind. Meditation requires mindfulness, which is a crucial part of being able to let go. How much you suffer depends on how quickly you are willing to forgive fully. How to Meditate The interesting part of meditation is that it teaches you how to let go of all thoughts and to give them no credence. As you ponder upon your life, you are subjected to all kinds of opinions. Thoughts come and go and you seem to have very little control over them. However, when you meditate, you need to focus on your breathing. If your thoughts wander, you acknowledge the thoughts and simply let them go, without allowing your emotions to take over. At the same time, you're practicing the principle of non-judgment. After all, it's just a thought, and that's all there is to it. Of course, in the real world, it's easier said than done, but in meditation, you simply focus on your breathing. Allow me to explain how meditation works because this will help you to achieve absolute forgiveness and detachment. Even though you are not meditating, you can distance yourself from negative thoughts by taking deep, mindful breaths. Sit on a chair that gives you plenty of support. It's best to use a dining chair rather than something you sink into because the straightness of your back is important. Your feet should be planted on the floor and remain flat. Your hands are placed in your lap and your main hand is turned palm upward to receive the other hand, also palm upward, and you connect your thumbs together. Keeping your back straight, Breathe in, but instead of using the top of your lungs like people normally do, you are expected to breathe in extra deeply until you feel the air in your upper gut. Hold on to it for a moment and then breathe out. You continue in this way, counting eight for the inhale, five for the holding of your breath, and ten for the exhale. During this exercise, your mind is busy with counting and concentrating on the breath, so you don't have time to think about anything else. This is the bit that people find difficult, but that's why they suggest that you practice meditation 20 minutes a day, every day, and make meditation part of your lifestyle. Practice makes perfect, and it helps to discipline the mind. If you notice that there are thoughts popping up in your mind, don't resist them and realize that it's normal. Simply observe them rather than submitting into your jumbled thoughts. See them, acknowledge that they are there, and then let them go. Also, don't stop breathing. So here comes the most common question, when to meditate? The best time of day to meditate is first thing in the morning before breakfast or in the early evening on an empty stomach. The purpose of meditation is to learn how to let things go. And when this practice has become a habit, you too can let go of any negative thoughts on a daily basis. When you're learning to forgive either yourself or someone else, you need to acknowledge the thoughts that you have and try to see them without all the emotions kicking in. Then let them go. You can get so much peace of mind as you free yourself from being caught up in situations and emotions. Meditation gives you the inner peace that helps you immensely in forgiving others and moving on rather than harboring bad feelings. Trust me, it feels refreshing, lifts your spirit, and you'll be able to empathize with others easily in that uplifting state.
When you wish to forgive someone, let them know that you forgive them and it's time to move on or reconcile. That should always be the end of the story. You should never have to bring up the rotten past and remind others how they wronged you, especially when you're arguing. Otherwise, it isn't absolute forgiveness. Absolute forgiveness means that you are able to put all of that behind you and move on. The same can be said when forgiving yourself. After you decide to let go of the past, never bring back those negativities and fuel your emotions. Be kind to yourself. Giving yourself absolute forgiveness is a great way to make you stronger and helps you to thrive in future relationships. Religious Teachings on Forgiveness Buddha discovered an interesting truth on his journey to enlightenment. When he was trying to find ways to diminish the suffering of people, he found that much of the pain wasn't caused by external factors. Instead, it comes from within. What we now know as Buddhism follows a set of approaches which helps to get rid of any negativity. Right approach, right concentration, right speaking, right thought are all parts of Buddha's teachings. If you start to speak positively to yourself instead of living in a negative state, you will eventually reach absolute forgiveness and gain the ability to move on unscathed by any unfortunate events. Even Jesus asked his father to forgive those who crucified him because he knew that underneath it all, none of them really understood the extent of their sin. To forgive is to put aside all thoughts of revenge or anger. When you're able to do just that, you'll achieve absolute forgiveness. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.